Hi guys, for my last science video of the week, I just wanna review what we've talked about in the previous science videos for this week. So in our first video of the week, we looked at these three important terms, transparent, translucent, and opaque. Each of them have to do with what light does when it, when it contacts these materials. So if, it, if the light goes all the way through and isn't blocked at all, then we say that that uh, material is transparent. It's, it's something that's not gonna block any light, so we can see right through it, something like a window. Translucent means that it blocks some of the light, but it allows some light to get through too. So something like, uh, like Kleenex. Uh, something that's opaque blocks all the light. So when the light comes to that uh, material, it is completely blocked and no light will come through, like a rock. Now, the question we did on the second video was why? Why are some materials uh, transparent? Why are some translucent? And why are some opaque? And it has to do with the, the molecules that make up that material. If they're really closely packed together, they will block all of the light. They won't allow any light through. It's kind of like if I put my hands like this and you're looking at the light coming from the smart board, if they're really close together, you can't get any light through my fingers. Right? Translucent materials, the molecules are a little further apart. So if I just open my fingers a little bit, you can see through uh, the, my fingers a bit, right? That's what's happening with the molecules in a translucent, uh, a, a translucent material, is that some light is getting through because the molecules are a little further apart. Right? And with translucent materials, some are just a little bit apart and some are quite a bit apart. So translucent things can be uh, can just let a little bit of light through or they can let a lot of light through. Uh, transparent materials, the molecules are really far apart and so they're not blocking any of the light. They're allowing all the light to go through. Now with some transparent materials, they will change the light uh, and have an effect on it. They'll actually cause the light to bend. Our scientific word for light bending is the word refraction. And refraction just means bending. Um, the experiment we did for this was the bent pencil experiment. When light uh, enters the water, it slows down, causing the light rays to bend. And it gives us this kind of distorted view of the pencil below the water line, yet it looks completely normal to us in the, uh, uh, in the air part, above the water line. It just has to do with the way the light changes when it hits the water. Hey guys, so my question to you for today is, what did you learn this week about how light travels through materials? What's something you know now that you didn't know when the week started? All right, make sure you answer this question after you finish the video and have a great weekend.